All right. Slow Ride uh, is a um, longish chipper. Uh, we're going to start at 3, 2, 1, go with 40 calories on the rower. Uh, then we're going to roll into five rounds of 10 dumbbell shoulder to overhead, 20 air squats, 10 uh, toes to bar, and 20 hang dumbbell snatches. When you've completed five rounds of those four movements, you're going to get back on the rower and you're going to finish with another 40 calorie row. Um, the RX weights for dumbbells are 50 for the dudes and 35 pounds for the women. Uh, the uh, scaled and 60 and up weights are 35 pounds for the men, 20 pounds for the women. The scaled movement for the toes to bar is going to be a hanging uh, knee raise. And so now Rooks is going to demo the performance standards. So one note with this workout which is true for all the workouts, but in this case, there's a bunch of different pieces of equipment, so it's that much more important. Your camera setup needs to include a clock. It needs to permit us to see the monitor on the rower, and it needs to permit us to see you on the pull-up bar. So we need to be able to judge all of the points of performance in the camera angle that you choose. So uh, the row is the row. Uh, to start with the uh, dumbbell shoulder to overhead, starting from the floor, on the, and then each rep is from the front rack to locked out overhead. You can do push presses, you can do push jerks, you can do split jerks, whatever movement uh, permits you to get the dumbbell locked out overhead. You do not have to alternate on, you don't have to alternate at all. You can do all of these reps with one arm, you can do, you can alternate arms, you can do five and five, however you want to do that is fine with us. Uh, air squats. Point of performance on the air squats really too. You want to get your hip crease below the level of your knee at the bottom, and at the top you need to have your shoulder, your shoulder behind your hip. So you got to stand that squat all the way up. Uh, toes to bar. On the toes to bar, your toes need to make contact with the pull-up bar, and at the bottom of the hip, your feet need to come behind the pull-up bar. Uh, for knee raises, for your hanging knee raises, your knees need to come above the level of your hip. Uh, and then at the bottom, your feet need to come behind your hips. Those are the performance standards for toes to bar and for hanging knee raises. For dumbbell snatch, these are from the hang, so the first rep is from the floor, uh, but then you get it to that hang position, and then again you can do power snatches, you can do muscle snatches, you can do whatever kind of snatch you need to do to get that dumbbell overhead. Again, these are not alternating snatches, so you can do all 20 with your right hand, you can do all 20 with your left hand, you can alternate on every rep, or every five reps, whatever rep scheme makes the most sense for you. And that is slow ride.